Welcome back to Universe Intelligence. Today we're venturing into the quantum realm, a place where the familiar rules of our everyday world break down and reality takes on a bizarre and fascinating character. We're going to explore one of the most profound experiments in physics, the double slit experiment, a gateway to understanding the wave particle duality of light and the mind bending observer effect. Buckle up because things are about to get quantum. Light. It illuminates our world, allows us to see, and powers much of our technology. But what is light, really? For centuries, scientists grappled with this fundamental question. Is it a wave, like the ripples spreading across a pond? Or is it a stream of tiny particles, like a hail of miniature bullets? This debate raged for centuries, and it took a truly ingenious experiment to begin to unravel the truth. To appreciate the significance of the double slit experiment, we need to rewind to the 19th century. The scientific world was divided. The influential Isaac Newton, while acknowledging some wave-like properties, leaned towards a corpuscular theory of light, envisioning it as composed of tiny particles. His immense authority cemented this view for many. Meanwhile, Christian Huygens, a contemporary of Newton, had championed a wave theory proposing that light propagates as waves through a hypothetical medium called the luminiferous ether. However, neither theory could fully explain all observed phenomena. For example, the corpuscular theory struggled to account for diffraction, the bending of light around obstacles, while the wave theory had trouble explaining how light could travel through the vacuum of space without a medium. Enter Thomas Young, a true polymath, skilled in everything from medicine to music to physics. In 1801, he devised an experiment so simple yet so profound that it would change the course of physics. Young's setup involved shining a beam of light through two closely spaced parallel slits. If light were purely particles, we'd expect two distinct bands of light on a screen behind the slits, corresponding to the two openings. But Young observed something completely different, a pattern of alternating bright and dark fringes, an interference pattern. This pattern is a classic signature of wave behavior. It arises from the superposition of waves. Let's delve deeper into the concept of wave interference. Imagine waves in a pond. When two waves meet, they can either reinforce each other, creating a larger wave, or cancel each other out, creating a smaller wave or even nothing at all. This is precisely what's happening with light in Young's experiment. When the light waves from the two slits meet at the screen, they interfere. Where the peaks of the waves coincide, we get constructive interference, resulting in bright fringes. Where a peak meets a trough, we get destructive interference, resulting in dark fringes. This interference pattern is undeniable proof that light, at least in this context, behaves like a wave. Now here's where things get truly mind-boggling. What happens if we turn down the intensity of the light source so low that only one particle, a single photon or electron, goes through the slits at a time? Surely a single particle must choose one slit or the other, right? Surprisingly, even with single particles, the interference pattern still appears. This means each individual particle is somehow going through both slits and interfering with itself. This is utterly counterintuitive. How can a single particle be in two places at once? This is where the concept of wave-particle duality comes into play. Quantum particles exist in a state of superposition, behaving like a wave until they are measured. And now, for the most mind-bending part, the observer effect. What happens if we try to observe which slit the particle goes through? Let's say we place a detector near one of the slits. Common sense suggests we should simply see which slit the particle goes through, and the interference pattern should remain, or perhaps disappear if the particle is blocked. But that's not what happens. The very act of observing the particle collapses its wave function. The particle is forced to choose one slit or the other, and the interference pattern vanishes. It's as if the particle knows it's being watched and changes its behavior. This raises profound questions about the nature of measurement in quantum mechanics and the role of the observer. Some interpretations even suggest a form of retrocausality, where the act of observation in the present can influence the particle's past. This is a highly debated area, but it illustrates just how strange and counterintuitive the quantum world can be. The double-slit experiment 
especially with single particles in observation, reveals the truly bizarre and fascinating nature of the quantum world. It shows us that reality is not always what we expect it to be. The act of observation plays a crucial role, and the very act of looking can fundamentally change the outcome of an experiment. This is one of the most profound and perplexing mysteries in physics, and it continues to challenge our understanding of the universe. What do you think about this mind-bending experiment? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to dive deeper into the quantum realm, and trust me, there's a lot more to explore, don't forget to subscribe to Universe Intelligence and hit the notification bell for more mind-blowing content. We promise, subscribing won't cause your wave function to collapse, probably. Thanks for watching.